Hi, everybody. We're back. The time is 9-11. Depending on who you ask, you take between 17,000 and 22,000 breaths a day. Sometimes when we're stressed, we take short, quick breaths. One, Mace, there's one way to lower your stress, though, and that's if you can take those deep breaths. I was just thinking, does my watch tell me how many breaths I take a day? It tells me how many steps I take, how many flights of stairs I climbed. But it doesn't tell me how many breaths I've taken a day. Dr. Karen Ryan is a psychologist with Nystrom and Associates, and she's here with us now to show us some really great breathing exercises and to explain how they can help us. Nice to see yeah, you nice again. Nice to see you both. Good morning. All right, so talk a little bit about these these deep breathing exercises and kind of give before we start them and, and you give us the details of yeah. them. Why does this work? How does it work? Yeah, the whole process of breathing is taking in oxygen, right? And oxygen fuels our red blood cells, gives us energy, helps fuel, fuel our bodies. And then we release, when we exhale, we release carbon dioxide, which is waste gas. So it's a whole gas process, which normally we don't think about. Our bodies right. just naturally do, which is lovely. But sometimes we get in a pattern of taking those short, shallow breaths. So therefore we're not getting that same level of oxygen intake and that same exhalation of the carbon dioxide. So when we take deeper breaths, we take in more oxygen, we lower our respiration, heart rate, blood pressure, increases digestion, and lowers stress, as you said. So it's really like one of the most effective and efficient ways to do something good for your body. So, but you're not talking about trying to breathe like that at all times. All time, you're yeah, talking right? about doing it in a state of, I don't know, is it meditation? Yeah, or, or like it? intentionality, yeah. where I'm gonna intentionally sit here and try to take some deep breaths. And what's wonderful is, when you know what it feels like, when you practice it, then it's really easy to slip into it when you're in the car, when you're in a meeting, or sure. when you're having a hard conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're gonna when tell you're us. When you're looking at your teenagers and they're giving you that face. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Exactly. And Don't you know, comment, just breathe. And what do we do? We, we, we go. <laughs> Yes, we for sigh because sure. that's a natural way then to take yeah. a deep breath. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you've got some deep breathing techniques for us to try. Yeah, today. the first one is belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing because we sometimes don't realize how low it needs to be to take a deep breath. So what you do is you sit back okay. and you put your hand on your belly. So you put your uh, put your thumb on your belly button and then your palm is below that. That's how low it is. Okay. And then if you want, you can put your other hand on your chest or just leave them here. And then the goal is, is to get your hands to rise and fall. That is a true belly breath, right? And so if you look, it's... And it's hard because at first we want our chest to go. And so it's mm -hmm. figuring how do we get it to go all the way down and in and all the way back out. And the hand on the on the chest and on the belly is really grounding. I feel like the hand so kind of like reminds you to like you. not let you do the shoulders, yeah. but okay. Yeah, and drop the shoulders yeah. and take those deep, slow belly breaths. It's hard for me to get my stomach to stick out because of my rock hard abs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> But that's sitting low, and it takes practice. Sometimes laying down or really sitting back can yeah, help can, you to get that, that sensation. Okay. Yep. So how long yeah. do you do this for? Yeah, I think it's really helpful when you're starting to set a timer because it can feel overwhelming, like how long do I have to do this and how long has it been and what do I need to do? And right. so if you set that timer for two to three minutes, you think it's three minutes. I can do this for three minutes, sit and breathe, and I don't have to worry about time. It'll tell me when it's done. Does it matter if your breath comes out of your nose or your mouth? Because I feel like sometimes it doesn't. It, it doesn't. doesn't. No, okay. sometimes there's there's different exercises where you focus on that. But I think when you're starting, doing what makes you comfortable. Okay. And if you do want to do that first with your mouth open, then it helps you intake more the next time. Okay, makes sense. So that's just deep breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next is box breathing. Okay, what's this, this is a, all about? This is a good one, especially if you like to visualize. And so what you are doing is you are um, making a box pattern of breathing where you're holding on the top and the bottom of each breath. And so if you visualize a box, right? And so each side is four counts. So I will breathe out for four counts. Hold for four counts. Breathe in for four counts. Hold for four counts. Breathe out. And people who like symmetry, who like even things, I one of my friends is that. like, I yeah. love it, it's even, it's concrete, I can focus on it. Yeah. And so you can make the four counts as what makes you comfortable. Sometimes we try to do it too long or too short, and you'll find that as you start to do it, you can do each side longer because you've already slowed yourself down. I would think that would help you, again, maybe get, if you were able to pull it off, because it's not easy, mm -hmm. um, but to be able to stick with it to the point of where you're almost in a kind of in a meditation Absolutely. type almost focused Absolutely. on the box versus right. the breathing. And deep yeah. breathing is that first step then that helps us do any other sort of meditation imagery exercise. Once we can know that deep breathing, we can implement all I know this isn't things. a meditation segment, but if, if it were to go beyond that, you would almost get to the point where you weren't even thinking about the box, right? Exactly. It would, it would just be 
Exactly. Blank. But when we're really overwhelmed, sometimes just that in, yeah. hold, out clears the mind. That's all we're focused on. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Tell us about hand breathing. Mm -hmm. So this one is nice because you can do it with somebody. If somebody's trying having a hard time, you can use the kids, adolescents, it can be helpful. And I like it because it's tactile, it's touching, and that can be grounding in itself too when we're feeling anxious. And so it's simply breathing in as we go up our fingers and exhaling as we go down. In and out. In and out. And if you do both hands, you're automatically making yourself take 10. And so it's like, I'm not That's done, because we tend to want to quit right here. Yeah. Like we want to be yeah. done. Okay, fine. It's like, nope, I'm going to do all 10. Because then that really, it's amazing how much the heart rate will go down with 10 deep breaths. Sure. I have said to my kids before, my daughter, when she gets upset, like, just take some deep breaths. And she's like, why do I need to take deep breaths? I'm like, well, you just do. But like, she doesn't understand it. She's 10. She doesn't mm -hmm. know why. Yes. But I do feel like if you gave her the hand exercise, yeah. it's like, Again, just something. do yes. this. Tactile. Yeah. Every finger, and then you're done. Yep. It might be a, a sneak yeah. in way. And All there's right. another great kid one. Yeah. Which is, it's the pizza yeah, exercise. Yeah, we, we okay. got to talk about pizza. And so I like, I like hold, you hold it up and you visualize a pizza. And most kids know what it's like to blow out candles or to cool food. Because they're like, how do you take a deep breath? Or what does that mean? Yeah. And so you start by blowing, cooling the pizza. And then smelling the pizza. Cooling the pizza. Smelling the pizza. You can do brownies if brownies are your thing. You can right. do, pizza, you can yeah, do whatever, whatever you want. want. But pizza's a great one for kids and adults, like especially like, okay, it really brings it. Is, is there, are you actually trying to like mentally trigger a smell of something? Or are you just saying that? You absolutely can, because again, that's that piece of can, like deep really breathing like and can visualize take. Visualize and, and sort of give yourself that sense that you're actually smelling yep. pizza. Yep. Because now I think I smell it. <laughs> right? Yes, as you do it, because what you're highlighting again is deep breathing that can allow you to do then imagery. And imagery is really visualizing, imagining something that then takes your brain to that different place. It could be calming. I think about the breathing, and I mean, it makes complete sense because, mm -hmm. like, when you're going through labor, right, you're taking deep breaths. When you're trying to, like, your fight or flight instinct kicks in because mm -hmm. you've had an experience, you're taking the deep breath. But those are monumental moments in life that the idea of taking three minutes or five minutes a day to just do it just makes me day, think of right. the benefits, yeah. Yeah, and I find myself, one of the ways I use it all the time is when I'm in the car and I'm stressed or I'm late or I'm cold and I'm like this and I'm breathing shallow and I'm like, drop your shoulders, sit yeah. back, breathe. But actually a perfect put your time neck then. on the neck rest. Yeah, and a perfect time then. Using, don't close your eyes. <laughs> no, but if you're using, I do that all the time. Yeah. Like you're using, your, you're actually having good posture yeah. and you're like, okay, here yeah. we go. Yeah. yeah, makes a difference. All right, well, uh, good stuff. Thanks yeah. for doing it with nice me. Nice to appreciate see you it. again. See you. Yeah, you too. Getting that right frame of mind when everyone comes over <laughs> for Easter. <laughs> uh, Nystrom and Associates provides care in the fields of psychiatry, uh, psychology, family therapy, and more. They have 20 locations in the Twin Cities. They do work with couples. They work with families. They work with people of all ages. Yeah, if you're struggling with stress or anxiety, depression or addiction, make sure that you reach out to them or really any professional.